Hi, I'm Rob Cosman. Welcome to my shop. A French cleat is a great way to attach something to the wall. Not only is it secure, but it's also well hidden and it's easy to do. I'm going to walk you through it. See you. I'm Rob Cosman and welcome to my shop. We make it our job to help you take your woodworking to the next level. If you're new to our channel, be sure to subscribe. Turn on that notification bell, and don't forget to turn on the notification on your mobile device so you'll know every time we release a new video. Good? All right, back to the bench. We needed a way to hold a small chisel box on the wall. Wanted to make it really discreet and something that we could easily hang on the wall and then take to where wherever we were working. So if you look at this, the cover comes off. It's a held on with magnets. There's seven chisels in there, and you simply have that cleat that's attached to the wall firmly, you don't even notice it from the back side, but it's really convenient to hang on there and to pick up and take with you when you want to. There's no real risk of it falling off just because of the way it's made. So come over to the bench and we'll go through the process of how you do it. So the idea was a nice box for a fancy set of chisels that not only would serve as a display, but you could also take it to wherever you're working and you have all your chisels. So. Underneath here, there's a magnet buried underneath so that it holds the chisel in place, but you don't have to look at it. So what I did before I put the box together, I took this piece, and by the way, those holes are there because there's magnets in the, that are come almost to the surface, and that's what holds the lid on. I took this piece and I undercut it to give an angle right here that the French cleat or the other piece that'll attach to the wall will be able to hold on to. Now that piece has to fit precisely between this side and this side, so there's no side-to-side -side movement. And of course, it has to meet that. So, I've got the pieces laid out here. The grooves have already been cut to house the bottom. Now I'm just going to go in and I'm gonna cut that relief on the table saw, and then we'll match it up perfectly on this piece. And this piece has to be the same width as the depth of the bottom, or the back, so that it doesn't, it allows the case to lay up nice and tight against the wall. All right, over to the table saw. Now, I've got my blade set at 45 degrees. You can use any angle you want, but the greater the angle, the more secure it's going to be on the wall. I've got my fence set so it's almost at the blade, but not quite, and I'm gonna run this up against there. I've got the height set so that it won't cut into the other side of the groove that we made in order to house the bottom. <laughs> So there's the cut. Now what we're gonna do is do the same thing on this piece and then we'll cut it the length. Okay, now I want that cleat that's gonna go on the wall to be the exact same length as from here to here. So the easiest way to do that is going to be with the shooting board. One more pass. OK. 
Okay, we don't want that to interfere with the back. So I may have to take that down a little bit more. But the next thing to do is to put this together and then we'll be able to fit that cleat. Okay, that box is together. Now it's just a matter of fitting the cleat. Let's see how close we are. Just a couple of passes. I want that to be nice and snug, just makes it that much more secure on the wall. I always have to cut a little chamfer on the back side. So that'll fit in like that. Now, I want to get that flush. I can actually plane it right in the box. just to make it a little uh, more snug, I'm going to take a pass outside, maybe two. Okay, now we'll go mount that on the wall and I'll show you how secure this is. Okay, doesn't hurt just to get rid of that knife edge with a couple of swipes of the plane. Now I'm going to put this on a solid door so I don't have to worry about finding studs. You could use wall anchors as well. Make sure that you have the bevel on the inside. And you want those heads to be countersunk so that they don't interfere with the fit. There. Approximately the same distance. This is light enough, I don't need more than two. Okay, now set that on, drop it down, and hold securely. If you want, you could put one screw there just to keep it from moving, but that really does a good job of holding on to it, and you could easily pull on that and it's not going to come off. What a nice way to fasten something to the wall without seeing anything, can't even see it from the inside. French cleat, good luck. If you like my work and enjoy my style of teaching, click on any one of these videos and help take your woodworking to the next level. I've always said, better tools make the job so much easier. If you click on the link below, the chisel and plane icon, it'll take you to our site and introduce you to all the tools that we actually manufacture right here in our shop. It'll also give you information on our online and in-person workshops.